Uh, who, who are you? Uh, well, uh. I'm Chica. Chica the chicken. This is Bonnie. So. That's Foxy back there. <laughs> and? Chica, what are you doing? Introduce ourselves, of course. But that's exactly the opposite of what we should be doing. What, shooing them out of the park? It's a bit late for that, isn't it? I... Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, I'm Bridget... Bridget Humphrey. This is my big brother Cody. Thank you for helping us. It was no problem, sweetie. We couldn't leave you two out there on good conscience. Bonnie, Chica, what brought you kids here anyhow? Cody and I were on our way home for school when we found this rabbit. We followed him here and... Well, the rest is story. Huh, fancy that. I will stop being all timid, Foxy. Come up and say hi. <laughs> um, uh, Captain. Foxy can be a little shy at first. Oh, really? He's the sweetest guy you'll meet. Yeah, right after he's sure you all don't bite. I do not think that you blockhead. Hey, are you like a pirate? I less. <laughs> really? I love pirates! One of the main characters from my favorite movie is a pirate! Can you sword fight and swing from ropes? Why, ye bet your doubloons, I sure can! Ye won't meet a finer rope swinging sword fighter than this side of the Seven Seas! Jiminy Christmas, everything's falling apart! Don't let him fool you! He's not a real pirate! Huh? He just likes role play a bit too much! Don't ye let your long ears hear Lee John either, Puffs. He just be jealous he got no imagination. <gasps> oh, Foxy! You aren't fixing to start something, are ya, old sea codger? What if I am, you prissy landlubber? Bonnie, Foxy, don't you two even think about. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're starting to outstay our welcome. Thanks for getting us out of that pickle, guys. <gasps> but I think it's time me and Bridget start to head home. But kid, it's past midnight! Aye, you lad, it ain't a good idea! You two barely made it last time! You can't go back out there! Thanks for the warning. But I think whatever was lurking out in the fog is gone now. Huh? Cody? What's wrong? What the hell? My heart is pounding. It's hard to breathe. I feel like I need to run as far away as I can. Like, I'm in the crosshairs of a predator. Duh. What's out there anyways? <laughs> hmm. We don't really know. All that we do know is that it arrives with the fog at midnight, and it doesn't leave until the sun rises at 6 a.m. Any living thing that remains outside in the park during that time period is... Well, we're not sure about that either. All we've seen is the aftermath. Hmm... <sighs> I suppose there's no other choice. Huh? You children may stay here until the fog dissipates in the morning. Entertain yourselves how you will. I need to soothe this splitting mind grain I've developed. Uh... So, you guys have cards? Have any clownfish? Nope, I got a fish. Cody, have any mackerels? Ah, darn. Foxy, uh, do you have any... koi? Aye. Ha! And that makes three books! I win! Oh! Ah. Do you guys want to keep playing until we're all out? Or do you want to move on to another card game? I want to keep playing! I'm halfway to kicking Foxy's tail! I'd like to see you try! I haven't had this much fun in years. Okay, keep playing it is. You know, this beats everything else I'd do on a Friday night. Mm. Like what? Our homework? You have homework. Uh, n n n no Cody, you can't fool me. You've won the game. Go do your homework. What? Are you kidding me, Bridget? Nope. And I will keep bugging you about it if you don't get it done. You know I will. The faster you finish it, the faster you can come back and play with us. Ah, fine. Tiger baby sister. Mm, no signal. Huh? Hmm. Jeez. Mm, what was I thinking? 
We'd get lost before we'd walk even ten steps. Even if there wasn't something out there, we're not going anywhere until the sun rises. I could just pretend my tablet's battery is dead. There's no electricity here. I don't think so. I wouldn't be able to charge it. Ah, but if I hold it off until we get home in the morning, she'll just bug me then. Ah, fine. Let's just try and hurry and get this over with. Hmm. 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 <sighs> fine. Are you all right, Mr. Humphrey? <laughs> You must weigh over 300 pounds. How are you so quiet? It, it's a curse, really. And, uh, just Cody is fine. Hey, uh, what was your name, anyway? The others didn't tell you. When I asked, they just kept calling you Mr. Party Pooper. It's a miracle we put up with one another for so long. My name is Freddy. Freddy Fazbear. Nice to meet you. That's Fazbear. Does... The name ring any bells? Um, no. Should it? My family moved here just earlier this year, so... Hmm. No, don't worry about it. You seem to be struggling. May I assist you in any way? Only if you can make my homework disappear. I can't make heads or tails of any of this junk. May I see? Ah, uh, sure, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. I believe I see your problem here. You've been trying to do it the long way around. Let me show you a more concise method. See, if you move the X here, it becomes much easier. Huh? Oh, I see. Hmm? Huh? I get it now! And if that's true, then that solves this problem! And this problem! And this problem! <laughs> I've achieved academic nirvana! Wait, you only just looked at my homework and you understand it? And you can turn around and teach it just as easily? Ow! It's in my nature to teach. Also, I read. A lot? Well, there isn't much to do here after all. I find books around the park occasionally, so that's what I fill my time with. Wow, you can just understand this stuff just by reading it. Boy, that makes me jealous. I wish I could read this stuff and understand. My teachers would certainly like me more. Hmm. I can't believe I'm doing this. Would you like me to help you further? Huh? huh? Yes! Yes, please! Okay, so here's another bit I'm having trouble with, okay? Yarg? Huh? I'm surprised she can sleep so soundly. Not me. It's always been easy for Bridget to fall asleep whenever and wherever. Will you be alright not sleeping tonight? Yeah, I'll just take a nap when we get home in the morning. Hmm. As long as you're getting sleep somehow. Hmm. I told you my family moved here recently, right? It's only been three months, but Bridget's always been the type who thrives when she's with friends. Has she been struggling? Ah, a little. I can tell she gets lonely. Especially when it's just her and me and Dad's out of town like this week. Hmm. You know... Hmm? It's been a while since I've seen Bridget so happy. Spending the night with you all really lifted her spirits. So, uh, paranormal strangeness aside, thank you for being here. Mm, well... Huh? You're welcome. Yay! Sunshine! <laughs> yeah, the morning sun came right around six. Not a speck of creepy black fog in sight. Um... I, uh, hope I'm not asking for too much, but... Would it be okay if Cody and I came back again? Huh? <gasps> We had a lot of fun, and Cody still has homework he needs to catch up on. Hmm. No, absolutely not. Freddy, can't they? Chica. Oh, come on! What's the harm? Hi, Captain, why not? What about their parents? Won't they be worried? Our dad will be out of town for a couple more days. And he'll be none the wiser as long as we don't skip school. Regardless, last night was a close call. You children might have been seriously hurt or worse. Next time, we might not be so lucky. And... ER, Captain, please. And... And... Oh, and... oh, cheese and crackers. Fine. They may come back for one more night. Yay! Yay! But afterwards, that's it. No more. And you must leave before midnight. Understand? Yes, sir. We'll bring more stuff for us to play with tonight. Okay? 
Can't wait, lass. We'll see you later. Oh, I'm so excited. I can play with the children again, just like the good old days. I still think this is a bad idea. Obviously not as much, or he wouldn't have let them come back. Aye, maybe the captain ain't such a party pooper after all. Hmm. I knew you two were the ones behind that! <laughs> Get as you can, Captain! I ought to box your ears, you two little... Thank you, Freddy. Hmm? Really, I know you're happy to have kids around again, too. We all saw you helping Cody with his homework. It was nice to see you smile again. Hmm. It's been a while, hasn't it, Chica? Over 40 years. Hmm. I hope we don't come to regret this. We won't. I'm positive. <laughs> I don't know how you're so optimistic all the time, Chica. It's impressive. Well, someone has to keep the mood light for you party poopers. Hmm. Phew. So far, so good. There. Found Bunny Flyer put on my face page. And now we wait. But Cody, what if no one claims him? Bridget, you're not expecting to keep him, are you? Oh, my God! Can we just call Dad and see? Ah, uh, fine, I'll call. But it's not like you'll say anything I haven't. Hey, Dad, uh, uh, no, we're fine, I just have a question. See, we found this bunny wandering around all alone last night, and Bridget was wondering. Yeah, he seems tame. I put up a found poster online, but it could be a while. What? You don't have to do that! Uh, are you sure? Okay, I'll tell her. Love you too, bye. What'd he say? Uh, he said we can keep him. Dad's putting money in the card so we can go to the vet and get stuff we need for him. <sighs> oh, wipe those smug smiles off your faces. <laughs> well, good news is you have a healthy young rabbit here. Good physical condition has all his shots. Now, bad news is he's not microchipped, so we can't tell if he is lost or was abandoned. Hey! How old is he anyways? Well, there's only one way to tell for sure. You have to reach under their feet skin on their private area to test toughness. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. The little guy's got uh, quite a kick. Well, well, can you really blame him? Rabbits are expensive, man. Oh, hey, it's already litter box trained. <laughs> Bridget. What are you doing? The rabbit's a little stinky, so I'm gonna give him a bath. Oh, but Bridget, you're not supposed to give rabbits baths. What? Really? Yeah, they're prey animals, so they get frightened easily. And if you put him in the tub, he might get so scared he'll have a heart attack. Uh, uh well, I guess one bath won't kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, buddy, all dry. Everything checks out. Got Dad's permission, got him checked up, got the necessities of bunny living. Guess we've officially got a new pet. All he needs now is a name. You have one in mind? Yep, I've been thinking about it all day. I'm gonna call him Halo. Halo? I always thought it'd be a pretty name. 